if you're a busy online business owner like me, you probably struggle to find the time to stay consistent with posting on social media. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you my favorite post planner that can actually automate most of this entire process for you, plus my favorite automation tips that are going to keep your feeds actually fresh even when you're not posting yourself coming up. What is up, familia? I'm Kim Jimenez, and if we're meeting for the first time, welcome. Around here, Chris and I run a company called The Business Lounge, where we teach online business owners or coaches, service providers, and course creators how to actually scale with content marketing that converts. And so let's dive right into the tool I wanna show you today, which of course from the title is Go High Level. And by the way, yes, they are sponsoring this video, but they did not tell me what to say, nor could they actually review any part of this video before it got published. So you can trust that my opinions are my own. Okay, let's get started right here by navigating over to the marketing tab. And once you click there, you're going to see the social planner. Ugh. Now we're in our demo accounts. And one of the things that I love about high level is the fact that they let you repurpose your content automatically. First things first, you want to make sure that you're connecting your social media accounts. Now, if you haven't watched my previous go high level video where I walk you through all of the features, definitely check that out after this one for context is a CRM tool, meaning it's going to manage way more than just your social media content. It's going to manage your emails, your scheduling, your calendar. It's going to do automations, funnels, websites, so much stuff. So we're just going to hyper-focus on the actual content calendar right now or the content planner for the purpose of this video, but know that it can handle a lot more. And that's where all the beautiful automations can also come in when you do really advanced things. Let's talk about recurring posts and how they can actually totally automate your posting schedule so that you're actually posting content even if you're not doing it yourself, which is the ideal. Now, if you're familiar with tools like Meet Edgar that actually will set up a recurring schedule for your post so that you can basically post <laughs> into eternity, this is something that I absolutely love especially as a former social media manager. Why? Because your content needs to live beyond that first initial 24 hour push that the algorithm maybe extends you. And so this is a way of actually giving your content way more exposure and more visibility. Because after all, when you're posting on social media, particularly platforms like Instagram, you're only reaching about three to 5% of your audience. That means that the grand majority of the people who follow your account haven't seen seen all of your posts. And if they have, they probably have forgotten. So it's perfectly okay to post the same post at some point in the future. Of course, you have to use wisdom and discernment with the strategy. You should not just set up seven days of posts and then have them <laughs> recur every single week. That's not going to work. But it is important to have a content bank of evergreen posts, maybe some of the posts that perform the best on your account, and then schedule them 30 days later, 90 days later, six months later, a year later. That saves you a lot of time, energy, and also helps to hone in your message. Okay, so how do you actually set it up? Let's go to content and then click on a recurring. Now, you're not going to see any post on here when you first get started because the idea is that you're going to be building this into the future. There's also another feature called category Q, which I'm going to show you next that works in tandem with recurring posts so that your social media feeds stay fresh and you're posting consistently even if you're not creating new content. All right, so let's click on new post. And from here, we're going to do the same thing as, a, as a we were creating a brand new post. Remember how I showed you in the draft that you could select select any post to set to be a recurring post. That's essentially the idea here. Now you can go and create all brand new posts, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to the drafts section because I already showed you that post that we created together and we can now set that up as a recurring post. This video is kindly sponsored by Go High Level. And if you're tired of duct taping your business with a million different tools that don't speak to each other and cost a fortune, Go High Level is a tool for you. Not only does it have an incredible content planner and scheduling tool, but it also will handle your invoicing, your automations, your emails, your calendar and all your contacts all in one place. 
And as someone who's always weary of all-in-one tools, I can tell you this one is the exception. It is designed by marketers for marketers, and I love that you are not trapped in their ecosystem. So whether you're layering it onto your existing tool stack like we do, or you want to switch completely over to go high level for all of your tech needs, make sure that you snag your free extended 30-day trial by using my link plus three amazing bonuses. There are five pre-built automations so that you're not starting from scratch with your marketing. Number two, you're also going to get our pre-built, beautifully designed lead magnet funnel pages and three of my best coaching workshop replays so that you can actually hit the ground running when it comes to leveling up your marketing. So if you're ready to streamline and scale without losing your mind, make sure to check out the link in the description to snag your 30-day extended trial through my link and all of the bonuses will be preloaded on your account. Plus, if you're an existing high-level customer and you still want access to our bonuses, you can also do that through the link in the description box. All right, back to the episode. Okay, so here we are back inside of that draft. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on schedule recurring posts. From here, you're going to have a repeating schedule. Now, keep in mind, this is the exact same post. So we probably don't want to post it more frequently than every 60 to 90 days. So once I post this initially, I'm going to come back here and select a schedule. And I'm going to say, okay, I want you to post this post every two months. And I know that on my Instagram account or my Facebook, I usually do really well when I post after 6 p.m. So I'm gonna select 7 p.m. And then from here, I'm gonna select a date range. So you could have this end at a specific time and date so that it's not recurring forever. For me, because I know this is an evergreen post with an evergreen message, I feel comfortable setting this up for the next four years, for example. And so I'm gonna click confirm. And by the way, you can also set specific dates right there. Now you can also decide what day of the month you want to actually post this. So let's just pick the first day of the month. This is really helpful if, for example, your content is related to getting the month started or doing some kind of quarterly review. You might want to select it that way. If not, you can select it at random, which is what I'm going to do for this one. Awesome. So now that you've reviewed the recurring post schedule, I'm going to click schedule post. And ta-da, we have our first recurring post. So then now there's these slots on your content calendar that have already been filled. Now, you wanna be mindful of frequency, of course, but the more new content you create, the more opportunities you have to set these certain recurring posts into eternity as evergreen content pieces that live on your social media platform continuously. Now, a really smart strategy too is you could come in here every quarter and just refresh the post. You could refresh the captions or you could have someone on your team do this as well. You can also swap out media. So let's say that you redid that reel or that short or you have something similar that is more current. You can swap that out and that makes for such an amazing strategy so that you're not having to create content that's new every single week. All right, now let's talk about the category queue. And this is a little bit different. Whereas your recurring section is for individual posts that will continue to get posted on a set schedule, your category queue is basically just a category of different posts that get shuffled around and reposted based on your ideal schedule. For example, you see here that I have a category called podcast shorts. Now it doesn't have to be on a format basis. It could also be based on topics. So for example, it could be coaching tips or strategy ideas or promotional posts. Whatever you decide on with these category cues, the whole concept is to have a variety of posts, again, that meet a specific category, be reposted and shuffled around on your social media platforms on a set schedule. To set this up, we're gonna click on new post again and we're gonna select category Q. From here, you can select an existing category. For example, I have IG carousels and my podcast shorts, or you can create a new one. So I'm just gonna start typing and let's say that I'm going to select coaching tips. So I'm gonna create a new category and then you're gonna decide if you want to enable future post queuing, meaning automatically queue any new posts created in this category. For me, I'm going to say yes, because when I'm creating new posts, I can automatically categorize them and this is going to add them to that queue schedule for posting in the future and the whole concept is the more fresh new posts we create the more 
space and time and really bandwidth we're creating for ourselves in the future because these posts will be filling up our content calendar. If they're evergreen, of course, not every post, but if they're evergreen, they will fill out our content calendar in the future. I also want to decide if you want to prioritize new content first. For me, absolutely. If I'm going to be creating a new post and I'm loading it into the post planner and it's fitting that specific category, I know it's a great evergreen piece that I'm going to want to post maybe three months from now, six months from now, a year from now. I absolutely want to make sure that my newest content is being posted first. Now, depending on the strategy, you may not want to select this. So use discernment here. We're going to click continue. Now, this is where it gets really exciting. Now, you can decide how often and on what days you want these posts to go out. So let's say, for example, on Sundays, I know I want to be posting more of those podcast shorts or podcast clips. Then I'm going to be setting up a category queue that then sets up the latest posts that I have added into my planner to be published on that specific date. We want to use a lot of strategy and discernment with this because if you schedule everything in advance and all of your posts are recurring and all of your posts are evergreen, there is going to be an element of staleness in your account. You don't want that. You want to make sure that you are staggering these posts with new content that's more relevant, that's more fresh, that's more timely. And then just use this as a place where you can like breathe and relax and know that may maybe two out of all of your posts every week are going to be posted that you're going to be repurposing over time. Now, the other really cool thing about the category cues is that you could have content variations. I think this is so important for kind of keeping things fresh and different. And so you could set up to four different versions of the same exact post. For example, if you want to have the same reel or the same photo, but you want to change the caption, you can do that here. If you want to actually keep the same caption, but change the photo, you can do that as well. You could also have a caption, a photo, a carousel, and a video for the same exact post, which is so cool because again, you're adding that variety. You're making sure that your posts that you're setting up in this queue and the schedule are different. For example, we do a lot of podcast clips. And so we might have the same caption for different clips in the podcast episode because they're the same topic. And that way I don't have to write a whole new caption. Chef's kiss, go high level. You crushed it with this feature. Once you're done with your variations, you want to click on Q posts. And now this is going to be automatically added into your social media planner as long as it is active. You could also deactivate this or pause it temporarily, which will remove those posts from your set queue. Now I want to show you what this looks like over on the planner. So when I do activate it, you'll see here, both of my posts are scheduled, the recurring post as well as the category Q automatically. And so now that you have a content bag that's going to continue posting recurring posts that are evergreen into the future, you're going to have more time to actually create follow-up systems and automations that will help you sell from your content on autopilot. So make sure that you watch this next video on how to leverage Go High Level's CRM features like email marketing, automations, automatic follow-ups so that you can actually close more leads and sales from your content. And don't forget to snag your free extended trial to Go High Level via my special link. It's gonna be in the description box below as well as those three amazing bonuses that will preload your account with awesome automations, follow-up systems, and even a beautiful custom landing page for your lead magnet funnel. So you can start turning more of your followers into legit leads and grow your email list. I'll catch you inside that video. Un beso. Bye for now.